Roman de Tertov, or Erte, was born in St. Petersburg, Russia, in 1892. His father was an admiral in the Russian fleet. When Roman was just 15 years old, he sculpted his first sculpture, Demoiselle à la Balancelle, Bridesmaid at the Swing, which was done in the Art Nouveau style of the times. In 1910, Roman moved to Paris, where he lived with Prince Urasov until the prince's death in 1933. The decision to move to Paris was made despite strong objections from his father, Pyotr Ivanovich Tirtov, who wanted him to continue in the family tradition and become a naval officer. Roman assumed his pseudonym to avoid disgracing his family. Erte is the French phonetic pronunciation of the initials R and T. In 1915, Erte secured his first substantial contract with the Harper's Bazaar magazine and thereby launched his career that included designing costumes and stage sets. During this time, Erte designed costumes for the Matahari, famous for being caught as a spy for the Germans during World War I and was executed by firing squad. Between 1915 and 1937, Erte designed over 200 covers for the Harper's Bazaar, Ladies' Home Journal, and Vogue magazines. Erte is most famous for his elegant fashion designs which capture the Art Deco period in which he worked. His delicate figures and sophisticated, glamorous designs are instantly recognizable, and his ideas and art still influence fashion into the 21st century. His costumes, program designs, and sets were featured in the Zegfeld Follies of 1923. Many famous actresses and singers of the day wore fashions designed by Erte. In 1923, Louis B. Mayer, a famous movie producer, brought Erte to Hollywood to design sets and costumes for the film Paris. There were many problems with the filming, so Erte kept busy by designing for other films such as Ben-Hur, The Mystic, Time, The Comedian, and Dance Madness. Erte's best-known image is Symphony in Black. Erte continued to work throughout his life designing reviews, ballets, operas, and fashions. In the 60s, he had a major rejuvenation and a much lauded interest in his career with the Art Deco revival of the time. He branched out into the realm of limited edition prints and bronzes and wearable art. Two years before his death, Erte created eight different bottle designs for Covassier cognac to show the different stages of the cognac making process, from distillation to maturation. In 2008, the eighth and final of the remaining Erte designed Cuvassier bottles containing champagne cognac, dating back to 1892, was released and sold for $10,000. Erte's work can be found in the collections of several well known museums, including the Victoria and Albert Museum of London the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City, the Los Angeles County Museum of Art in Los Angeles, as well as a sizable collection in the museum in Tokyo, Japan. Roman Turtauf, or Erte, died on April 21, 1990.